of fire on display. It's almost like George says, you make one on me, I'm coming back at you for revenge. And he lobs it up top. Lays it in off the pretty lob. That pass was from far, far away and right on the money. A serious long distance connection right there. Melton left side. Pass to Embiid. Oh, the process! Embiid flexing his muscles. Credit to the defense for getting all over Embiid, but he just muscles his way to a good look inside. From down low, no good off the back of the rim. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Here's the break. They get the rebound. And he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket. He's got 26. He knows his job on the glass and he does it well, cleaning it up and sending it right back. Outside Payne. Embiid inside. And it's good. Two points. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. And they look like a completely different team. I wonder what Coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum change. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. George outside. Melton on the wing. Back to George. Let's the three fly. Count it. Now eight for 13 with that basket. This team counts on George to deliver points. His consistency under pressure is key to their offense. Driving to the basket. Excellent D there from Payne. That's just the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. To tie it up. And the play by George as he finishes it off for two. George has got 25 points in the game. And just using balance and coordination, George can make plays in baskets that many can't. To the middle, Brownlee. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. And the 76ers call time here. Here. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Just two to shoot. Launches it from deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Payne's checked in for Maxi. Here's Smooth. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Embiid covers. Brownlee. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. That's a sturdy screen right there. And once he got the space, he knew exactly what to do with it. At the line for the away team, Brownlee. At the line for one. Cherry on top. Excellent trip up the floor to build out this lead. The Sixers trailing. From deep three-point land. No good on the shot. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. George has got 27. Yeah, it seems like George could do this all night. He just keeps finding shots. Blocked! And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession!
There's a minute 26 left to play in the fourth quarter. Oh, okay, look wow. out! Man. Wow! And that one is stuffed right through. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sideline with every offensive board. And the three-pointer goes. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. And he lobs it up to the rim. Shoots from 14. And he buries it. And he's tied it up. What a shot. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And it's blocked. Five seconds left in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. Goal! Oh, no, no, no. This dude is nails in the clutch. You want your best shot at winning at the end? Give the ball to PG. The visitors with the ball. Defended by Payne. Down low. Embiid with a steal. In transition. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're on top by two. Here's Payne. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Bradley. That's his second personal foul. And Ron Payne. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. All right, guys, what do you think? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. They need this. Oh, bang! Home the three! Oh, an enormous three-pointer! The ball's knocked loose. Expires. We're going to overtime. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. We've got Paul George. Joel Embiid is out there with Caleb Martin. Then there's DeAnthony Melton, and it's Payne in at the point guard position. The contest and the rebound, folks. That is how you defend. Embiid passes to Melton. And the call is going to be, yes, on an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Pass to Smooth. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Martin. Outside Payne. And the bucket is good. And the 76ers lead by two. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. And we played just over a minute here in overtime. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. We got Kirk. Here's Melton. He 
He's covered closely. Outside Maxi. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. And he dumps it. What a pass to set him up. You might not have expected him to go for the steal there, but boy, oh boy, did it ever work. A little over a minute and a half gone now in overtime. Melton passes to Embiid. Here's George. Smooth grabs the miss. Smooth's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Ramos. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Here he goes. Two the rebound by Embiid. The Sixers trailing. George. 11 feet out. No good. A bit long that time. We're in overtime if you just joined us. Two and a half minutes through it. Oh, a pro man move from Embiid. The guy you want to have the ball. Embiid, this man is a superstar. There's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Tyrese Maxey. That's his third personal foul. That's team foul. With the line for the away team, number 22. Drops the first one, and that gives him a lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a two point ball game. In a tight game, he is exactly who you wanted at the line. Puts it up. Again, Philadelphia. And for them to get out in front, it feels like they're going to need him to lead the way. Brownlee. Sinks it from distance. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's George. Melton outside. Is up. And the 76ers get it back. And then B throws it down. And who else do you want in this situation? It's all about him being, and he's ready to carry that load. And it's all from three-point range. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's George. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. So he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. And those were some big-time shots. Those free throws helped to make this a three-point game. And Philadelphia calls time here. It's George on the wing for three. Count it! Oh, a tremendous three! A great range is a big part of why George is a high-level scorer. That's the smooth. Yeah. 
It's stolen by Maxi. For the win. Ooh, no good there. Potential game winner was off the mark. Another tie. And we're going to have a second overtime. We'll get right back to the action when we return. We play into another overtime. The tension continues to build. Both teams refusing to lay down. Here's Smooth. He's guarded by Martin. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Now here's Maxi. Martin, right side. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Pass to Ramos. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. And that's when they say you can't teach tall. This is where size helps you. Owning those rebounds on the defensive end. Here's Ramos. Brownlee. George defending. Six to shoot. Brownlee. No good with the triple. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. They now take the lead. Embiid's got six here in the quarter. The team just loves to see Embiid fired up on offense like this. They really rely on his scoring ability. Here's Smooth. He's guarded by Martin. Brownlee. The shot off that time. Ooh, nice D from George. And Maxi, here we go. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. And now it's a 4-point 76ers lead. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Maxi covering to the right side. From the corner. Smooth shot is good. Smooth's got 25 points in the game. Great of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells us how you are playing team offense. Yeah, good luck stopping that. <laughs> when PG is hitting the pull up with his size and hops, you just gotta tip your hat. Some solid defense from Maxi. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And a foul oh, called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And just so hard to stop without fouling. I mean, George can beat you with length, with skill, and with intelligence. Ball four. First of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he does get the second one. And that increases the lead to six. Ramos. There's the triple. The rebound by Maxi. That is not the shot they needed there. You gotta work it around and get a better look. Martin, the pass to Embiid. Oh, nice job, Embiid. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Knocks it down from a distance. 22 points for him. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. 
Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stock down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this win. Give him an inch, and he'll take a three. So dangerous from distance. Pass to Maxi. Big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Here's smooth. He's guarded by Martin. To the paint. The three is up. And he sinks it. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. And he nails the tray. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, and you gotta know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Oh, he knocked down the trifecta! Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. At the line for two, the Anthony Melton. First free throw is good, and that'll put him up too. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Guys, your thoughts? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. The visitors with the ball. Wow! A huge basket to tie the game! Not the best pick I've seen, but look, like, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Timeout. George peels it out of it. Martin, right side. thoughts guys I would honestly attempt to get the ball near the rim because even if the shot doesn't fall a quick putback will suffice off the inbound pass oh my what a shot nice ball movement there that's how you break down the defense timeout call the 76ers all right guys what's your take Put your hands together one more time for your 76ers youth AFD. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. Double overtime games are so grueling. And after this one, everyone, the officials, the fans, the broadcasters, they'll all have to take a little rest. Yeah, I need that rest, I'll tell you. But hey, Give them credit. They really dug deep into their energy reserves and showed their determination to get this win. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel. Global Giving 2K. Like. Comment and share to your friends. God bless you.